Here's my five minute low back pain stretch and strengthen routine that's gonna help you get out of pain. I'm Dr. Matthew Poza. Welcome to the page. My page is dedicated to people and families so they can learn tips and tricks in order to live the life they were designed to live. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this information with the people we know need it the most. The rates of low back pain continue to rise. And it's no surprise when you think about what people are doing, lifestyles, sitting in chairs, or just simply lifting and doing things wrong. Our lifestyles are not necessarily conducive to having a good spine or supporting our spines in the best way possible. Before I show you my five minute routine, it's important to state that if you look at the low back, you want your spine to be nice and even, you want it to be straight, but from the side, we do need the curve in through the low back. We need the pelvis being at a certain angle. And when we sit all day, when we do things improperly, what happens is the spine goes out of alignment. So we lose that nice curve in the low back. And then what ends up happening is a lot of people will get either weak abs or they'll get issues in through the low back where the glutes become weaker and therefore the hamstrings become tighter, the low back becomes tighter. So we call this a lower cross syndrome. And one of the areas that we need to focus is in order to strengthen this is to not only put the curve back into the spine, so we wanna relax these joints because that is the normal position. We wanna make sure that the spine is straight, but also now we, what we need to do is undo the lower cross syndrome. We need to strengthen these muscles. So we need to look at the pelvis. We need to look at the hamstrings. We need to look at what's happening in the front with the abs. And when we coordinate all this together, that's where we're gonna reduce low back pain. We're gonna help with movement, so your flexibility, and overall, you're gonna notice a massive difference. The first thing that we're gonna do is start with a child's pose. So the child's pose is a stretch. Um, it's gonna stretch out your low back. And really what we're trying to do is lengthen your low back. So we're working through the hips, but also we're getting into the low back. So I like to do these on the floor. You're simply going to put your knees about shoulder width apart and you're going to bring yourself down and now you're in your in the base position and then you're going to be bringing your torso down and splaying out your arms in front of you so as you bring yourself down you're going to feel that in the low back and you're just stretching out in front of you bringing your head down and go as far as you can holding that for about 10 seconds, breathing, and then coming back up. From that position, we're gonna go into the cat camel or the cat cow, doesn't matter which way you wanna say it, and you're gonna go on all fours. So you're gonna have your knees shoulder width apart, your hands splayed out in front of you, so you wanna make sure you almost have a tabletop happening in the middle of your spine. You want your head in neutral position. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck in your pelvis, rounding your back, bringing your chin towards your chest, holding that for a few seconds. And then the opposite. So you're gonna be looking up, bringing your bum up and your middle of your back down in between your shoulder blades, holding for a few seconds. And then the opposite. Now the key with this one is to only do seven to eight of these motions, you do not need more. The pattern then what we wanna go into is the bird dog. So this is a strengthening exercise. This will take some time and coordination to do. And I'm gonna go through two variations of it because everybody's gonna be a little bit more, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult at the start, but you do wanna work on this coordination, which is gonna help the entire spine. So on this one, you're going on all fours, your hands again splayed out in front of you. And what you wanna do is you wanna to get to the classic finishing position, which is one leg would be up and then the arm in front and you're reaching out. So this is the bird dog. But in order to get to that position, you wanna start off with building yourself up to that. So what you're gonna do is 
your arms are in front of you, your knees are behind, and, you're, and you want this to be almost about a 90 degrees. And then what you wanna do is you wanna start by just lifting your arm, one arm at a time. So you're gonna lift one arm at a time, holding for a few seconds, and then bring it back down. And then what you wanna do is work on the transition. So as you transition to the other side, you're gonna to wanna to feel your torso want to sway or bend, or t and that's what you're fighting. That is the exercise. The exercise is not being able if you can lift your arms. The exercise is whether or not you can stop yourself from twisting. So if I go from this position to all of a sudden the next position, I need to hold my core and I need to hold myself stiff enough in order to fight that. So you're gonna, and you're gonna do about 10 of these so that'll be one, this would be two, and you would repeat that 10, and then you would repeat that three times. So that would be three sets of 10. If you can do that and you find that one pretty easy, then what you wanna do is you wanna move into the legs. So you're gonna go from this position, now you're gonna work with the legs. Now the legs are gonna be a bit tougher, but what you wanna do with this one is you want to start by dragging your foot back and then up into this hold for a couple seconds, and then slowly bring it back down, maintaining good posture, and then you're switching to the other side, holding for a few seconds, and then letting go. And then that's the same thing. You would repeat that three sets of 10. If you can do that, so you can do the arms, you can do the legs, then your next progression would be the full one. And the full one, again, requires that coordination. So you're on all fours, you're looking slightly up, and then you're gonna lift one arm and one leg at the same time, holding that position for a couple seconds, bringing it down, transitioning to the other side, holding for a couple seconds, bringing it back down. And that's what you're gonna be repeating 10 times for three sets. Now we're gonna go into pelvic tilts. So pelvic tilts, especially if you've been sitting all day, or even standing, what happens is your hamstrings get really tight and your pelvis uh, will get in the wrong alignment. So what we're gonna do is work on our core by squeezing our tummies and bringing the pelvic off a little bit of the ground and you're just holding that position. So you're gonna hold this position for uh, five seconds and then you're gonna release. What you should be doing when you're doing this exercise is as I bring my pelvis curled like this and I'm bringing it up and I'm squeezing my tummy so I'm, I'm almost curling it towards me, you're, there should be no room to put anything below your back. So we talked about having that low back, creating that arch. Well, this is gonna be strengthening those abs in the front for that lower cross syndrome. And as you do this, there should be nothing being able to go underneath Hold that for five seconds and then releasing. And you're gonna do that 10 times just to activate your core. Last stretch is gonna be the hamstring stretch. When the hamstrings are tight, they cause your pelvis to come in like this. And then you change the pressure from your glutes doing most of the work, which are holding you up, and now your hamstrings and that will pull and that will create a lot of tension on your low back so with this one and there's lots of ways you can do a hamstring stretch let's go with the simplest way simplest way would be to bring your leg up onto a chair or something a little bit elevated and then the key here when you're doing these stretches is it, see if you have really tight hamstrings your knees going to want to pop up as you come closer I do have tight hamstrings, so this is something I actively have to continue to work on. But what happens is you wanna make sure that your knee comes down and you're not hinging from anywhere else except for from your actual pelvis. So it's trunk, your trunk comes forward until that point of resistance, that's it for me. And I'm holding that, if you need to, you can overpressure by pushing your hands down on your knee. You're gonna hold that. I like to do this with breath. So with this one, I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in. I'm gonna hold my breath for about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna breathe out. 
Now, as I do that, the muscles are going to relax a little bit more, a little bit deeper. And after about 30 seconds, then you're going to release. And then you're going to repeat that on the opposite side, the exact same thing. And that's your stretch. So that's it. That's your five minute routine. That's going to not only help decompress your spine, it's going to create a lot more mobility, but now we're also building strength and we're undoing the lower cross syndrome. So try that at home. You can leave comments down in the section below. And until next time, have a great day.